Lesson 4.8 is parallel and perpendicular lines, day one. So we've got to figure out what do parallel lines have in common? You're going to have some problems to say graph a line that's parallel to the given line. Determine the slope of the given line and the one you graphed. So I'm going to use a ruler to help me here. Here's this line. If I wanted another one to be parallel, let's say it's something like this. Looks pretty good. Slope of the original line, here's my y-intercept, find another point, goes down one, two, three, right one. So that would be a slope of negative three. My line <coughs> should be down one, two, three, right one as well. So what you should know is that parallel lines always have the same slope. Always, always, always. That's what makes them go in the same pattern or the same um, rate at the same angle kind of thing. All right, then let's talk about perpendicular lines. It's not as clear. So let's graph a line that is perpendicular to the given line. Perpendicular means it's got to make a right angle. So I'm going to say something. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. Something like this. It's got to make like a big plus sign, right? So the original slope, I'm going to find the y-intercept. Right here, it goes up 1, 2, over 1 up two over one, so slope is two. For my second line, notice how it has to be negative. And then what happens is this line going up was steeper, now it's not as steep. So really it should be like a, let's pick this point, down one, right two, or negative one half, which is the reciprocal of two. A reciprocal is when you flip it, like let's say you had two thirds, the reciprocal would be three over two. Or if you had four, which is over one, the reciprocal would become one over four. So it's negative reciprocal. So perpendicular lines always have negative reciprocal slopes, meaning one's gonna be positive, one's gonna be negative, and they have to be reciprocals of each other. <clears throat> so number three says, which equation represents a line which is perpendicular to the line 5x plus 2y equals 12. And what I don't like about this is this is in standard form. We have to have it in y equals mx plus b. So let's move the 5x over to get 2y equals negative 5x plus 12. Divide everything by 2. So I get y equals negative 5 halves x plus 6. What is the slope of this line? it's negative five halves. So if I want perpendicular to this, I'm gonna have to have a number be positive and reciprocated five over two becomes two fifths. So I'm looking for the line that has a two fifths x. I don't care anything about the y-intercept. That means no difference in parallel perpendicular. All right, number four, find the slope of a line parallel to the line whose equation is this fully simplify your answer. So again, this is in standard form. We need to get it into slope intercept form so we can see the slope. So I'm gonna subtract my 12x over. And divide everything by negative 15. Simplify this, you can divide out a three so that would be a four fifths and it would become positive. I don't care really what that is, but I will go ahead and do it anyway. 315 divided by negative 15 is negative 21. But again, all I want is the slope. So if this line, this is all the same line, has a slope of four fifths, a line parallel will also have that same slope of four fifths. And then number five, it says the lines represented by these equations are, are they parallel, perpendicular, the exact same line, or neither parallel or perpendicular. So what we have to have them in is y equals mx plus b to know what the slope is. <clears throat> so on this one, I would switch it up again. I'm gonna subtract the five x over. So I get three y equals negative five x plus nine. 
divide everything by 3. So we get negative 5 thirds x plus 3. So there's this slope. Okay, this line is very close. All I need is to subtract the 5 thirds x over. And then there's my slope. They're exactly the same slope. So they could be parallel, but look, they're the same y-intercepts too. So these are actually the exact same line. If I were to graph them, they both have y-intercepts here. They go down five, right three, one line on top of the other. Okay, number six, same thing. You're going to get your y by itself. Slope of the first line is negative three. I'm going to add the 6x over. So we get 2y equals 6x plus 16. Divide everything by 2. That would be 3x plus 8. Okay, this is kind of tricky. They are negatives of one another, but are they reciprocals? No. So they're not parallel because they're not exactly the same number. They're definitely not the same line. They're also not perpendicular because this would have to be a one-third. So they're not parallel or perpendicular. But what does that mean then? So if this one's got a y-intercept of negative three and it's going down three right one, this line's gonna look like this. This one's starting up at eight and it goes up three right one. So they're not parallel, they're not perpendicular, but they do, they intersect is what they're doing. They intersect as long as the slopes aren't the same, they're going to intersect, but they're just not making 90s right here, making maybe something bigger or smaller than that.